Hello students. Today is the 11th lecture session. Topic of the lecture Multimedia Technologies. In this video, we will cover the following topics. The concept of multimedia. History of the term multimedia. Classification of multimedia. Structural components of multimedia. Editors. Conclusion. The concept of multimedia. Currently, multimedia technologies are a rapidly developing field of information technology. A significant number of large and small companies, technical universities and studios, in particular, IB, Apple, Motorola, Philips, Sony, Intel, etc., are actively working in this direction. Interactive Training and Information Systems, CAD, etc. The main characteristic features of these technologies are Combining a multi-component information environment, text, sound, graphics, photos, videos, and a homogeneous digital representation. Ensuring reliable and long-lasting storage of large amounts of information. Easy processing of information. The tube technological basis is based on the use of a new standard of optical media DVD, digital versa light slash video disc which has a capacity of about units and tens of gigabytes and replaces all the previous ones, CD-ROM, video CD, CD-audio. The use of DVDs made it possible to realize the concept of uniformity of digital information. One device replaces an audio player, VVR, CD-ROM, disk drive, slider, etc. In terms of the presentation of information, the optical media DVD brings it closer to the level of virtual reality. It is advisable to divide a multi-component multimedia environment into three groups, audio, video, and text information. The audio sequence can include speech, music, and effects, sounds such as noise, thunder, creaking, etc., combined with the wave designation. The main problem when using this group of multimedia is the information capacity. To record one minute of high-quality wave sound, you need about 10M of memory, so the standard CD size, up to 640M, allows you to record no more than an hour of wave. To solve this problem, methods of compression of audio information are used. Another direction is the use of MIDI, Musical Instrument Digitally Interface, in the multi-environment of sounds, single voice and multi-voice music, up to the orchestra sound effects. In this case, the sounds of musical instruments and sound effects are synthesized by software-controlled electronic synthesizers. Correction and digital recording of MIDI sounds is carried out using music editors, sequencer programs. The main advantage of MIDI is the small amount of memory required minus one minute of MIDI audio takes up an average of 10 bytes. The video sequence, in comparison with the audio sequence, is characterized by a large number of elements. There are static and dynamic video sequences. A static video series includes graphics, drawings, interiors, surfaces, symbols in graphic mode, and photos, photos and scanned images. A dynamic video sequence is a sequence of static elements, frames. There are three typical groups. A normal video a sequence of photos, about 24 frames per second. Quasi video sparse sequence of photos, 6, 12 frames per second. Animation, a sequence of hand drawn images. The first problem when implementing video sequences is the resolution of the screen and the number of colors. There are three directions. The FK standard gives a resolution of 640x480 pixels, dots, on the screen with 16 colors of 320x200 pixels with 256 colors. The SK standard, 512k video memory, 8 bit slash pixel, gives a resolution of 640x480 pixels with 256 colors. 24-bit video adapters, 2M video memory, 24-bit slash pixel, allow you to use 16 million colors. The second problem is the amount of memory. For static images, one full screen requires the following amounts of memory. In 640x480 mode, 16 colors minus 150 bytes. In 320x200 mode, 256 colors minus 62.5K. 
in 640x480 mode, 256 colors minus 300k. Such significant volumes in the implementation of audio and video sequences determine the higher requirements for the data carrier, video memory and data transfer speed. History of the term multimedia In 1965, the term multimedia was used to describe Exploding Plastic Inevitable, a show that combined live rock music, movies, experimental lighting effects, and unconventional art. Over the course of 40 years, the term has acquired various meanings. In the late 1970s, the term referred to presentations made up of images taken from multiple projectors synchronized with an audio track. In the 1990s, this term acquired a modern meaning. Classification of multimedia Multimedia can be classified into two main groups. Linear An analog of the linear representation method is cinema. The person viewing this document cannot influence its output in any way. Nonlinear the nonlinear way of presenting information allows a person to participate in the output of information, interacting in some way with the means of displaying multimedia data. Human participation in this process is also called interactivity. The nonlinear way of presenting multimedia data is sometimes referred to as hypermedia. As an example of a linear and nonlinear way of presenting information, we can consider such a situation as holding a presentation. If the presentation was recorded on tape and is shown to the audience, then this method of communicating information can be called linear, since those who view this presentation do not have the ability to influence the speaker. In the case of a live presentation, the audience has the opportunity to interact with the speaker, for example, asking questions, which allows them to move away from the topic of the presentation. Explaining some terms or covering controversial parts of the report in more detail. Thus, a live presentation can be presented as a nonlinear, interactive way of presenting information. Structural components of multimedia Let's look at the main components of multimedia objects. Text A text is an ordered set of sentences designed to express a certain meaning. The semantic integrity of the text reflects the connections and dependencies that exist in reality itself, social events, natural phenomena, a person, his appearance and inner world, objects of inanimate nature, etc. The perception of the text is studied within the framework of such disciplines as text linguistics and psycholinguistics. A text file is a common form of text representation on a computer. Each character from the character set used is encoded as a single byte, and sometimes as a sequence of consecutive two, three, or more bytes. A special type of text data should be considered the so-called hypertext. The term hypertext was coined by Ted Nelson in 1965 to refer to text branching or performing actions on request. Usually, hypertext is represented by a set of texts containing nodes of transition from one text to another, allowing you to select the information to be read or the reading sequence. A well-known and, moreover, pronounced example of hypertext is web pages documents in email, hypertext markup language, posted on the internet. There are stylistic, genre and thematic classifications of the text. Audio Audio referring to audio technologies As a rule, the term audio refers to the sound recorded on a sound medium, as well as the recording and reproduction of sound, sound recording and sound reproducing equipment. Thus, the audio component of multimedia information is designed to transmit audio data. As a physical phenomenon, sound is studied within the framework of acoustics, but acoustics is an interdisciplinary science that uses a wide range of disciplines to solve its problems, mathematics, physics, psychology, architecture, electronics, 
biology, music theory, etc. Such areas of modern acoustics as musical acoustics, electroacoustics, speech acoustics, and digital acoustics are directly related to the issues of multimedia technologies. According to the content, the audio component of multimedia is usually classified into musical and speech sound. The musical sound has the following characteristics. A certain height, usually from 16 to 4500 A's. Timber, which is determined by the presence of overtones in the sound and depends on the sound source. A volume that cannot exceed the pain threshold. Duration. The speech sound is formed by the human pronouncing apparatus for the purpose of language communication. Speech sounds are divided into noises and tones. Tones in speech arise as a result of vibrations of the vocal cords. Noises are formed due to non-periodic vibrations of the air jet coming out of the lungs. From the point of view of acoustics, speech sounds are vibrations of an elastic medium that have a certain spectrum, intensity, and range. The most well-known characteristic of a speech signal is the fundamental tone. This characteristic is a normal frequency modulation of the signal, the parameters of which are easily measured. The pitch period of different people, men, women, children, is in the range of 50, 250 A's. Among the audio media, analog and digital media are distinguished. For the purposes of multimedia technologies, the latter are of the greatest importance, and mainly these are audio files, a significant number of which have been developed in recent years. In the classification of audio file formats, lossless and lossy formats are distinguished. Lossless audio formats are designed to accurately represent audio, from the precision to the sampling rate. In turn, they are divided into uncompressed and compressed formats. Examples of uncompressed formats. RAR measurements without any header or synchronization. Of waveform audio format, developed by Microsoft in collaboration with AB, a common form of representation of audio data of short duration. Asterisk CADA standard for audio CDs. The first version of the standard was published in June 1980 by Philips and Sony, then it was finalized by the Digital Audio Disc Committee. Examples of compressed formats. On the Windows Media Audio 9 Lossless is a licensed audio file format developed by Microsoft for storage and broadcast. Within the format, it is possible to encode audio both with loss and without loss of quality. FLAC Free Audio Lossless Audio Codec is a popular format for compressing audio data. It is supported by many audio applications, as well as audio playback devices. Lossy audio formats are primarily focused on storing audio data as compactly as possible, however, perfectly accurate reproduction of recorded audio is not guaranteed. Examples of such formats. MP is a licensed file format for storing audio information, developed by the Fraunhofer Institute MPEG Working Group in 1994. At the moment, MP is the most well-known and popular of the common formats for digital encoding of lossy audio information. It is widely used in file-sharing networks to transmit music. The format can be played in any modern operating system, on almost any portable audio player, and is also supported by all modern models of music centers and DVD players. Vorbis is a free lossy audio compression format introduced in the summer of 2002. The psychoacoustic model used in Vorbis is similar in principle to MP. According to various estimates, this format is the second most popular lossy audio compression format after MP. It is widely used in computer games and in file sharing networks for transmitting music. Up, advanced audio coding, an audio file format with less quality loss when encoding than MP at the same size. It was originally created as a successor to MP with improved encoding quality, but at the moment it is much less common than MP. When placing text information on a CD-ROM, there are no difficulties and restrictions due to the large information volume of the optical disk. The main directions of using multimedia technologies. Asterisk electronic publications for educational purposes, etc. In telecommunications with a range of possible applications from watching a custom TV show and choosing the right book to participating in multimedia conferences. 
Such developments are called information highway. Asterisk multimedia information systems, multimedia kiosks, that provide visual information at the user's request. From the point of view of technical means, the market offers both fully equipped multimedia computers and individual components and subsystems, multimedia upgrade kit, including sound cards, CD drives, joysticks, microphones, and speaker systems. For personal computers of the IPC class, a special MP standard has been approved, which defines the minimum configuration of hardware for playing multimedia products. An international standard, ISA 9660, has been developed for optical CD-ROMs. Multimedia, simultaneous use of various forms of information representation and processing in a single container object. For example, a single container object may contain text, audio, graphics, and video information, and possibly a way to interact with it interactively. The term multimedia is also often used to refer to media that can store significant amounts of data and provide fairly fast access to them, the first media of this type were CD-ROMs. In this case, the term multimedia means that a computer can use such media and provide information to the user through all possible types of data, such as audio, video, animation, graphics, and others in addition to traditional ways of presenting information, such as text. Computer Graphics This area of multimedia technologies is designed to transmit visual images to the user. The first computers did not have separate means of working with graphics, but they were already used for obtaining and processing images. Computer graphics experienced significant progress with the advent of the ability to remember images and display them on a computer display. According to the methods of constructing images, computer graphics can be divided into two-dimensional and three-dimensional graphics. Two-dimensional computer graphics, 2D, are classified according to the type of representation of graphical information and the following image processing algorithms. The following types of two-dimensional graphics are known. Asterisk bitmap graphics. This kind of two-dimensional graphics always operates with a two-dimensional array matrix of pixels. Pixel, a pixel, the smallest unit of a bitmap image, which is an indivisible object of rectangular, usually square, shape, with a certain color. Without much loss of visual quality, bitmaps can only be reduced. Increasing bitmaps leads to an increase in the image's discreteness. See figure 1. Any image can be represented in bitmap form, but the storage method is characterized by a large amount of memory required for working with images and losses during editing. Asterisk vector graphics represents an image as a set of primitives, which are usually selected as points, straight lines, circles, rectangles, and splines of some order. Objects are assigned some attributes, line thickness, fill color, etc. The drawing is stored as a set of coordinates, vectors, and other numerical values that characterize a set of primitives. An image in vector format gives you room for editing because it can scale, rotate, and deform without loss, unlike a bitmap image. However, not every image can be represented as a set of primitives. This method of representation is good for diagrams, is used for scalable fonts, business graphics, and is very widely used for creating cartoons and just videos of different content. Fractal Graphics A fractal in the general sense is an object whose individual elements inherit the properties of their parent structures. Since a more detailed description of elements of a smaller scale is carried out using a simple algorithm, it is possible to describe such an object with just a few mathematical equations. Three-dimensional computer graphics, 3D, operates with objects in three-dimensional space. Usually, the results of visualization of three-dimensional graphics are a flat image, a projection. In three-dimensional graphics, all objects are usually represented as a set of surfaces or particles. The minimum surface is called a polygon. As a polygon, triangles are most often chosen. Various forms of color representation are used to transmit and store color in computer graphics. In general, a color is a set of numbers, coordinates in some color system. For example, the following color rendering models are known. Rab, red, green, blue, 
additive color model, colors are obtained by adding to black. In other words, if the color of the screen illuminated by a color spotlight is denoted as Hotsland G by and the color of the same screen illuminated by another spotlight is R G Berg, then when illuminated by these two spotlights, the color of the screen will be denoted as Rig Gig Bip. The choice of primary colors is determined by the peculiarities of the physiology of color perception by the retina of the human eye. The RAB color model has found wide application in technology. In TZ and monitors, three electronic guns, or three types of LEDs, light filters, etc., are used for red, green and blue channels. Chemic, cyan, magenta, yellow, black, a subtractive color formation scheme, usually used in printing for standard triad printing. SF from the English U, saturation, value, tone, saturation, value. A color model in which the coordinates of the color tone, saturation, also called color purity, and the value brightness of the color. This model is a nonlinear transformation of the RAB model. Computer graphics is one of the most powerful modern trends in the development of computer technologies. Video Video from LAT Video, I look, I see. This term refers to a wide range of technologies for recording, processing, transmitting, storing and reproducing visual and audiovisual material on monitors. The most important characteristics of the video signal are the number of frames per second, scan, resolution, aspect ratio, color resolution, video stream width, and quality. Let's consider these characteristics separately. The number of frames per second, frequency, is the number of still images that change each other when showing one second of video material and create the effect of movement on the screen. The higher the frame rate, the smoother and more natural the movement will appear. The minimum rate at which the movement will be perceived as uniform is approximately 10 frames per second, this value is individual for each person. Computer digitized video materials of good quality usually use a frequency of 30 frames per second. A scan of the video can be progressive, line by line, or interlaced interlacing. In progressive scan, all horizontal lines, lines of the image are displayed simultaneously, while in interlaced scan, even and odd lines are displayed alternately. Interlaced scanning was invented to display images on kinescopes and is now used to transmit video over narrow channels that do not allow the image to be transmitted in full quality. Any video signal is characterized by a vertical and horizontal resolution, measured in pixels, see above. The usual analog TV resolution is X pixels. The new standard of high definition digital television HETB assumes resolutions up to X with progressive scan. The ratio of the width and height of the frame is the most important parameter in any video. The old standard, which prescribes the aspect ratio as 4, 3, which appeared in 1910, is replaced by a more appropriate standard for the natural field of human vision, 16, 9, which is now focused on digital television. The number of colors and the color resolution of the video signal are described by the color models discussed earlier. In computer technology, RAB and SF are mainly used. The width of the video stream or bit rate, from the English bit rate, bit rate, is the number of processed bits of video information per second of time. The higher the width of the video stream, the better the overall video quality. For example, for the video format, the byte rate is only about 1 bit slash s, for DVD about 5 bit slash s, and for HTB about 10 bit slash s. Video quality is measured using formal metrics, such as Senna or Syme, or using subjective comparisons involving experts. From the modern standards of digital encoding and compression of video materials, the following can be distinguished. Asterisk MPEG-2 A group of standards for digital encoding of video and audio signals. MPEG-2 is mainly used for encoding video and audio in broadcasting, including satellite broadcasting and cable television. With some modifications, this format is also used as a standard for DVD compression. Asterisk MPEG-4 is a new international standard for digital video and audio compression, introduced in 1998. 
It is used for broadcasting, video streaming, recording discs with movies, video telephony, and broadcasting. Includes many features of MPEG-2 and other standards, adding features such as support for the RM virtual markup language for displaying Arthur objects, object-oriented files, support for rights management, and various types of interactive media. Asterisk Arctera is a video codec developed by the EXIF Foundation, org as part of their org project. The goal of this project is to integrate the ONVP video codec, the org Vorbis audio codec, and the ARG multimedia container into a single multimedia solution, like MPEG-4. Fully open, license-free multimedia format. Application of Multimedia Technologies Multimedia technologies are widely used in such areas of human activity as art, education, entertainment, medicine, business, scientific research, etc. Currently, the multimedia method of transmitting information has become an integral element of modern computer systems. Editors To edit the elements, we need special editing software. Text editor Audio Editor Picture Editor Video Editor Animation Editor Conclusion Modern multimedia is actively developing, with the advent of the latest equipment and software, a new step towards the perfection of multimedia products is being taken. Many designers, programmers, and screenwriters work and create new information values for humanity. Multimedia art is an intangible information value for each individual person. In digital form, our computers store various photos and video films, educational and informational materials that are dear to us. Multimedia has very thoroughly entered the life of each of us. Advertising on TV, music that we hear on the radio or at home by inserting a disc into the player, television programs, educational films, electronic textbooks, entertainment programs, all this is done using multimedia. Currently, an increasing number of new teaching methods are being introduced into the learning process. Among the methods used, the most promising are methods using computer technologies, in particular multimedia technologies. Multimedia technology allows you to present the user on the monitor screen the ability to display photo and video frames along with text, graphics, audio and digital information, providing an interactive dialogue between the user and the system. Security questions. 1. List the main components of multimedia. 2. Give and comment on an example of nonlinear multimedia. 3. Describe the advantages and disadvantages of vector graphics. 4. For what purpose is interlaced scanning used and why is it currently being replaced by progressive scanning? Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.